switch it up. She can't take it when she do it this way. Make it take out the take out the gun on the field and they forget you will. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, I'll be dyeing my old blonde wig red. And the two colors I will be using is Ruby Red and Truly Red by Adore Hair Dye. So I only used a comb and a brush just to comb through the hair while the dye is in it and before and after I dye it. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the old wig that I'm using. This is the pot of hot boiling water and I'm just going in with the Ruby Red Adore Hair Dye first. And I'm just going to empty all of that into the pot. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Truly Red Adore hair dye, and I'm going to put that in the pot as well. And then after, you're going to see me stir to mix the two colors together so that I get one color. Alright, just a little side note guys, just wear gloves because I didn't wear gloves and I got this all over my hands. So yeah, I mean, if you don't care about the dye getting on your hands or if you feel like you can do this without the dye getting on your hands, unlike me, then be my guest. But clearly, as you guys can see, I cannot do this without getting dye on my fingers. So next time, I will definitely wear gloves. Alright, so after I mix the two dyes together... I'm just taking a piece of tissue to see the consistency of the two dyes together to make sure it looks good. As you can see, the tissue took the dye well, so that looks good. So hopefully the hair will take the dye well too. All right, so now that the color is good to go, I'm just taking the wig and putting all that hair into the pot and making sure the dye is getting everywhere. So I use a plastic fork, I do not care. As long as it's getting that dye everywhere, it's getting the job done. I did not put anything on the lace before I put it into the pot. I know I've seen some girls um, spray got to be glue spray or they use something else, but I've never done that. I've never had an issue with the dye getting on my lace before. So yeah, there's nothing on the lace and just trust the process guys. So right here, I'm just combing through it. I'm making sure that dye is everywhere. Um, nothing serious. I use a wide tooth comb. I don't like using the skinny combs in my wigs. And right now, I just moved the pot to the sink so I don't get any of that dye anywhere on the counter because I will never hear the end of it. But right now, I'm just rinsing it out, making sure all that dye, all that pink water, you want to just rinse it out until all that pink water is clear or not as pink. And right here, I'm just showing you guys, the dye has gotten through everywhere. All right, so I'm going in with some Dawn dishwash soap on the lace. Now, I don't always do this with all my wigs, but for this red color, I do wash the lace with this just in case, you know, maybe the lace got pink i did not see any dye on the lace now but just in case i always take the dawn dishwash soap and i just scrub it all over the lace only on the lace and i rinse it off and usually it takes off whatever little bit of dye got on there but yeah okay so right here i'm showing you the lace on my hand as you can see the lace is not dyed red the lace has no dye on it. I'm just trying to show you guys really quick. Okay, so right after you rinse out everything, you wanna go in with any conditioner. I use the Shea Moisture Conditioner, Strengthen and Restore. Um, you just want to get this all over the hair. Mine was finishing at the time, so I had to just slap that on my hand and <laughs> use it on the wig. Okay. 
Okay, so after I put that conditioner in the hair, I'm just gonna place the hair in a plastic bag, tie it up, and I'm just gonna let the conditioner just sit in there for about 10 minutes, nothing too crazy. All right, so really quick, this has nothing to do with the hair, but as you can see, I got a little bit of red dye on the counter by the sink. So I'm gonna show you guys what I used to get rid of that completely. Um, I go in with the, I think it's the Clean Freak, Mr. Clean, and then I go in with the blue Ajax, the powder. I'm gonna show it on the screen, there it goes. And then I let those two sit. And when I say sit, I mean sit. I let it sit there for about an hour. And then when you come back, you're gonna wipe it down with a wet sponge and that dye should be non-existent. Non-existent, we're not playing like, I know some of y'all moms, listen, non-existent. <laughs> All right, as you can see, I'm just going in, rinsing out that conditioner after it's been the 10 minutes. Um, that pot I had to dye in, I just let it soak with water. Um, I'm showing you guys the lace. The lace has absolutely no dye on it. It's ready to go. Um, and yeah, it looks good. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. As you can see, the whole wig is dyed red. If you guys want to use this watercolor method, I strongly suggest it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my next video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.